This is the world's largest laboratory, pure grown diamond. It's it three, is carats. three carats. It is eye color, SI clarity, and it's $23,000. Put your other hand next to it. This is an equivalent earth mine diamond, and it's $40,000. Can we this take the two shot of her hands, please? Thank you. Both hands together, maybe? How about that? Great. So there They're, you have it. They are indistinguishable, even under a microscope. Hmm. So, so a, a diamond expert would have no idea. I mean, we, we I can't tell because you can't I'm tell an the idiot, difference but... under a loop, <clears throat> under a microscope. And that's why every pure grown diamond comes with a certificate from the IGI. Is, is every lab grown uh, diamond of the same quality because it's from a lab? Just like in nature, you have different colors and clarities and you can choose from a whole range of diamonds according to your pocket. You can, can the, the person who's growing the diamond grow it to different specs to, to make the price fluctuate? We start the process of Mother Nature and then Mother Nature takes over. So, so we get huh. a yield just like an earth mine. So you don't, you don't do, this is gonna be a four carat batch or a two carat batch of a certain color, it's just. We just grow the diamonds and they come out all different sizes. And at a time during Valentine's Day when six million couples are getting engaged, this is gonna be a significant choice for them. So a difference of almost $20,000 on the same size diamond. I would think your market share would have been even higher than what it's been. Isn't there resistance though to the, the idea that it's not a real diamond? You know, this is a technological breakthrough, a 21st century scientific achievement. And this is a new choice in diamonds. They're eco-friendly. They're conflict-free, and it's a responsible choice. So many consumers do want an eco-friendly diamond that is extremely at 20, affordable. At 23 grand, Yes, I'm assuming the margin is huge, and do you have to price it yeah. at that level so that people think about it in the same category that they might think of as a real, a real diamond? These are real diamonds. No, I know, <laughs> but, but a mined diamond, if you will. From, have, why I'm, can't I'm just, you price it even cheaper? Is my yeah. Question. Why can't you? The yeah. technology, the machinery is very expensive. It's taken 70 years of research and development. GE started in 1953. Our physicist has been working on this process for over 30 years and has just made this achievement. Uh, diamonds were started to be. Uh, Laboratory grown many years ago, but gemological quality yep. has never but been the, achieved. But the technology presumably will push down the cost at which you're able Over to time, make these. Right? So will you drop the price or will you keep the price close to where the uh, earth diamonds are? Because otherwise the consumer might think it's not quite the same quality. You know, due to the depletion of natural resources, mine diamond prices have got escalated 75 percent since 2009. And they're forecasted to continue to increase. So there's a complete diminished supply and the demand is on the increase and due to worldwide demand in China and India there's such a like demand. Low the prices yeah. is what she's trying to this, say. If, if you're ever going to get the Russian market you got to produce diamonds bigger than three carats that's the <laughs> biggest you've got this is the biggest we've got can they get so bigger far. can you go to five can you go to six can you this is not something we can produce but our scientific laboratory is working on it every day Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. You can subscribe by clicking right here to check out the latest Mad Money CEO interviews, market news, financial advice, and product unboxing. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.